hello good morning and this is my channel lead with love thank you for watching what i'm gonna talk about today is celibacy celibacy to be celibate and what are the benefits of being celibate psychological benefits of celibacy what is celibacy to be celibate is abstaining from marriage and sexual relations typically for religious reasons um, it doesn't always have to be for a religious reasons like you want to be a pope or you want to be a priest or you want to for a religious purpose it can be a vow that you do for yourself you say like you know i'm just gonna abstain from sex i want to focus more i want to i don't want to think about it like there's so many other things that you want to accomplish in life and then sex is more of a distraction. Sex is something that you do with one partner. You know, that's that's what I believe. But the way the world is now, they wanna have multiple partners. They wanna have all these different people, relations. They wanna sleep with men. They wanna sleep with men and women at the same time. Like, it's not okay. It's not it's nasty it's nasty because back in the 80s AIDS AIDS broke out in the 80s and it shook the world everyone was afraid of having sex condoms everyone was using condoms nobody wanted to sleep with people because they were afraid of this disease this disease is a man-made disease they wanted to eliminate a certain population. You cannot forget this. They wanted to get rid of you. They wanted to... There's a, there's a word for it. I don't know the word. Genocide? It was like a genocide to a specific population because they did not want them here. So they created this disease that there is no cure for. And then if you had the disease, you had AIDS, HIV, you would be on medication for the rest of your life and there's no cure for it. So I remember when I was growing up, when I was growing up, we were taught about STDs. We were talked about to be safe, safe sex, all that. And we were taught that any disease that started with an H, there's no cure for it. So that would be herpes, that would be HIV, hepatitis, CBA, all that. All the hepatitises, there's no cure for hepatitis. You'll be on medication for the rest of your life. I learned that in school, in high school. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I remember that, you know, and, and it's like people so easy forget that it is not safe to sleep with people unprotectively, have all these different partners, unprotected sex. And then it's like, when we were in school, we were taught every person that you sleep with, that person slept with 10 other people. So and then you're sleeping with all the people that they slept with too. So then can you imagine if you sit in there and you're sleeping with two, three different people a day, a day, okay? And then that person has three different partners and that per and so and the number gets higher and higher and you're putting yourself at risk to have a disease to catch a disease you can end up with a permanent disease that you can't get rid of and if you get a disease and you can get rid of it okay you can get a medication antibiotics and it's gone but you're still putting yourself at risk why would you do that to yourself? Why would you lower your value? Like your, your gold, your golden, like why would you give yourself to anybody just because you wanna say you were with that person? Like it makes no sense. You know, <clears throat> I abstain from sex because that's a choice. I don't want to be with just anybody. I have been single. 
28, since 2019, I have been single because I want to be single. I was supposed to be married with children. I was supposed to be happy. I was supposed to be married, put it like that, be in the married life. But I just didn't want to be the man in the relationship like I wanted my man to be the man like I don't want to be your mom I don't want to be you shouldn't have to depend on me to do basic things like you need gas or you need I don't know it's just basic things I just feel like that they a man should do it for for himself as a man like you know what why do you need me to help you with anything like i'm i'm here to help you i will be there to help my partner in any way i can help them but there's just certain things i don't want to do like i'm not your mom i should you should not have to need me to do everything and to accomplish things in your life like you should accomplish things for yourself you should not have to lean on someone just so that you can finish a project you know like if you want you want something then do it why do you have to depend on someone else to to do it for you or to finance you if you want something then do it there's nothing stopping you <laughs> I, I don't even want to talk about it but let me go back to celibacy celibacy a few things are as personal as decisions you make about sex life choosing when to have sex and with whom is a private process you don't want to give yourself to every and anybody that shows you attention that, sa that says oh I like you oh my god you're so beautiful and oh my god oh like you know no <laughs> that's not it like that is not it like okay nice thank you bye some people enjoy sex life they like fucking around and having all these different partners and they don't think <laughs> of the consequences there are consequences to sleeping around with all these different people it <laughs> It's the stupidity is when you forget when you forget the diseases that are out here the people that die from these diseases the the medication you're on this medication for the rest of your life and then you risk giving it to other people and then you're gonna have to explain yourself to other people and it's like but you put yourself in that situation <laughs> there's nothing else to it and then when you're sleeping with men men that sleep with men you're even more at risk and then when you sit there and you decide to be with a woman but then you like men but you don't want anyone to know that you like men so and then you want to pretend that you like women and you sleep with these women and you give them these diseases and it's all unprotected sex it's like this is these are all things this is real life like this really happens like people this is what people are doing and that's why a lot of spiritual people prefer to be celibate you don't want to be with just anybody you don't want to be with someone that's going to be embarrassing you sleeping with the entire town and giving diseases to people like it's candy like no I'm not doing that to myself <clears throat> let me explain people who choose to be celibate can find that not having sex helps their mental health you're able to focus <laughs> sex is the last thing on your mind like you're not thinking of sex you're thinking about making money <laughs> like <sighs> sex is not on the top of the list you know if I had a partner or I had a husband or I had someone that that made me like you know like I was just happy with and that I want to give myself to 
then that's something else. Then we could do it all the time. But if I don't have what I want, that's the last thing I'm thinking of. Like if I don't have my money right, my house, my my car, if I don't have my shit together, sex is not the <laughs> the first thing on my mind. Like I want to get my shit together. So some say that sex was a distraction or preoccupation for them and found that abstinence helps to keep their minds clear. And other people find that sex causes them stress and they appear happier, happy, <laughs> not worrying about it. So why are you so happy? Because I'm not fucking with you. That's why I'm happy. Like these people have all these problems. And it's because they're sleeping with all these different people and mixing and uh, no. Celibacy is the practice of not having sex, but everyone defines celibacy, the, but not everyone defines celibacy the same way. Some people abstain from all kinds of sexual contact, including kissing or holding hands. Others only refrain from sexual intercourse. Intercourse, do you know what intercourse is? <laughs> I hope you know what intercourse is. Some people use masturbation in place of partnered sex. So when you don't have a partner, what do you do? You masturbate, you touch yourself. And others refrain from that as well. Like others just don't do that either. Cause they don't want to want to have, you know, you just don't, don't want it. It's like when you choose to give yourself to a person, it's because the person is of value. Like you have a connection with this person. Like you want to give yourself to this person. You want to spend time with this person. You want to be close. You want to be skin to skin. Like that's who you want to give yourself to. Somebody that is worthy. Celibacy. You might associate celibacy with religion. But faith isn't the only reason people decide not to have sex. It's not because, oh, God doesn't want me to sleep with anybody. No, <laughs> a lot of people don't want to have sex because they don't want to get sick. Because people out here are sick. They're sick. They don't want to tell you that they're sick. And that, but they want to sleep with you. They want to have sex with you. But they don't want to disclose their their history they don't want to tell you what the hell is going on down there avoid it completely but to celibacy 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 <laughs> is preventing pregnancy or stis that's a sexually transmitted infection <sighs> you don't want to get sick like a lot of people are sick Waiting for a certain level of romantic commitment. Like you want to be in love. Like you want to love the person that you want. You want to have some kind of emotion. Like you don't want to just sleep with people just to sleep with them. They'll be like, oh yeah, I slept with that one. And oh, they were this and they were that. Like no, like you want to have some kind of emotion for this person. You want to stay focused. Stay focused on school or your career, your business, whatever. Managing mental health concerns because you know, when you're too focused on sex, you don't do what you need to do for yourself and for your life. Managing physical health concerns. Choosing the boundaries of celibacy can be empowering for people who want to make thoughtful choices about sex. Some couples choose celibacy together and set up their own perimeters, boundaries, being able to talk about your personal sexual choices with your partner is a key part of voluntary celibacy. <coughs> Excuse me. Reasons. Some people choose to, to be celibate. They choose celibacy. There's no doubt that sex is a complicated issue. Nobody wants to talk about sex. <laughs> Nobody wants to say what they do. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to say, oh, I'd like men. No man is going to tell you that they like men because they, they want to keep that private. But when you accept yourself, you don't care what people are going to say about you. So you can openly say, oh, I'm gay. 
you know, I'm gay, like it's okay. Me, myself, I am not gay. I like men. I know I have short hair. I have short hair, I'm always single. But I'm always single by choice. I choose to be single. I choose not to sleep with anyone that is not worthy of me, that cannot give me what I want, cannot, I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't wanna waste my time, my time. I don't wanna share my energy with people that are not worthy of me as a woman that a man that cannot be a man to me. It's like, I don't want to sit here and take care of a grown man. No, I did not. That's not what I signed up for. I'm not gonna do it to myself. <sighs> anyway, back to celibacy, right? There's no doubt that sex is a complicated issue, yes. While it is a way that many people express love and affection, like, you know, you don't sleep with everyone. So when you do find that special person that you want to be with, you know, that's how you show that you love them. You do all the things that you've been wanting to do. <laughs> you do it with that one person that you love or that you care for or that, that you want to share yourself with. For some people, the risk of sex, the risk, the risk is getting sick. Nobody wants to get sick. So the risk of sex outweighs the benefits. Like, you know, like you want to feel good. You want to, <laughs> you want to feel good. But then it's like, oh, I don't want to get sick. I don't know where he's been. But it's like, nah, I'm good. Like, no, thank you. And they feel better if they abstain. Like you feel better when you don't. You don't put yourself out there and you just don't want to get sick. <clears throat> that is a real, it's scary, you know, when you think about it, when you think about STDs, when you think about permanent STDs, when you think about having multiple partners and all the people that they've been with. And then you think about all the people that they've been with and then it all adds up. And then you're with this person that has been with the entire town. It's like how low, it's, it's so nasty. It's just nasty, like, ugh. oh my God. People who have strong religious beliefs about sex outside of marriage, celibacy can support their spiritual lives the more they may feel connected to their faith and be less connected concerned about breaking their religious principles that means like you're more focused on the spiritual side so you don't want to have sex increase focus while abstaining for se from sex you're you are focused you are focused on yourself on your money on your career on your life and because you're not thinking about sex. You're not thinking about all the all the mess. <laughs> you're not thinking about it. Choosing to be celibate frees them from thinking about or planning sexual encounters. Sexual encounters is, oh, when we're going to hook up? Like, where are we going to meet? When are we going to do? Like, you don't have to think about none of that. Like, <laughs> no. Without sex as a distraction, they can put all their energy into other activities. Studies have found that girls who delay sexual activity are more likely to finish high school because, you know, people are having sex at a younger age now. Healing from trauma or grief. It's like if you've had a traumatic experience, you can't just have sex and think the traumatic experience is going to go away. Like, no, like, stay away from everything that can trigger you the drawbacks there are drawbacks <laughs> some people end up not having sex because they don't have a partner yeah that's the drawback <laughs> you don't have a partner so you don't have sex that can be distressing for some people not only might they miss the physical pleasure of sexual activity but they may also be lonely 
people who have trouble starting or sustaining meaningful relationships may experience depression and anxiety. In this case, mental, mental health counseling may help them address their relationship questions. In rare cases, a lack of sex might hurt your health. How? <laughs> let, let me, <laughs> I'm reading, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna put all this information in the description box so you can follow it, you can look at it on your own and you can make your own judgments and things like that. There are known health benefits to sexual activity. That means there are some good qualities or points to having sex, including cardiovascular health. So I guess that's why I work out a lot. <laughs> I go to the gym because I need to burn out all this damn energy. However, there are other ways to get cardio benefits. Regular exercise, <laughs> that's what I do, might replace the boost to the heart health and sexual activity provides. Deciding to no longer have sex could do damage to a relationship if you are currently in one. Nah, if I'm in a relationship, we fucking every day, like all the time. <laughs> Entering into a period of celibacy, if you have a partner, can be confusing for your loved one. Why would anyone choose to be celibate if you have a partner? That's something that you do when you are single. You think about, you want to stay focused on what it is that you want in your life. Like, if your partner doesn't agree to your new plans, it could put a strain on the relationship. You and your partner should have open conversations about sex and respect each other's boundaries. Sexual choices are personal. No one should feel pressured to engage or not engage in any sexual activity that doesn't feel right. So that is choosing the right partner. You wanna be right about who you're with, who you're sleeping with, who you're sharing your body with. Like you wanna be careful, you wanna be wise, you don't wanna put yourself in a worse situation you don't want to put yourself at risk of getting sick people you cannot forget <laughs> they try to eliminate us they try to eliminate an entire race an entire population with a disease this is a man-made disease some stds are man-made to eliminate a population and we forgot we forgot that. So people don't use condoms. All these people are sick. A lot of people die with the disease. They don't want to tell anyone that they have a disease. They're gay. <laughs> they are gay. It's worse when it's a man because <clears throat> it's, it's just worse to be a man and to be gay. Because society is more accepting for women to be gay. But as for a man, to be gay is more shunned or is more, it's like, oh my God. And this, you know, is, I don't, I don't wanna sound crazy, judgmental. I don't want the LBGTQ community to come for me. Like, no, it's okay to be gay, but is not okay for you to hide your sexual orientation and to pretend and to trick women into believing that you like women when in fact you like men. That is not okay. Like you are hurting everyone involved. And people have just, <sighs> the world has changed. <laughs> the world has changed drastically and we have to pay attention to everything everything that goes on there's a reason for everything i wanted to talk about celibacy because celibacy is a topic no one wants to talk about no one wants to talk about sex no one wants to be celibate no one wants to understand what does that word mean it means you don't have sex that's what it means. You abstain from it until you're marriage, married and sexual relations. You don't do anything. It's not on your mind. It's not the first thing you think about. 
It's like you think about your money, getting your shit together. Like <laughs> get your shit together. Why are you thinking about having sex and you don't even know where you're gonna sleep? You don't know what you're gonna eat. And you, all you're thinking about is sex. Like, where are your priorities? Oh my God, I'm 25 minutes in. I know I've been <laughs> 25 minutes in. All right, so thank you for listening, for watching. If you clicked on the video, thank you. Lead with love. Everything you do, you do it with love, okay? And today's topic was celibacy because there is an importance to be celibate. And don't forget all of these diseases. Value yourself. Love yourself. And whatever you do, you do it with love. And thank you for watching. Bye.